Hey there, my name is Dimitri and in this video I'm going to talk to you about how you can transcribe your meetings very easily using a product that we have here. Well, it's actually just the name of our product, Tactic. So Tactic is one of the best AI meeting note takers out there, but a lot of people wonder how does it work and how can they set up a account quickly in order for them to not only transcribe their meetings, but summarize them and have great follow-ups afterwards. Well, let's dive right into it to answer those questions. First, all you need to do is you can go to the Tactic Chrome extension and make sure that you have it installed onto your web browser. This works on any Chrome-based browser. Even if I use Microsoft Edge as I do, it does work. You just simply need to install it. And then from there, sign up for a free account. With Tactic for free, you get five AI credits per month and you have the ability to transcribe 10 transcripts per month in meetings. It's very quick, easy, and simple to set up. And if you want unlimited transcripts, you can sign up for the $8 per month per plan on the annual side, and you will have unlimited transcripts and 10 AI credits per month. On the team side, you'll get unlimited transcript and unlimited AI credits, which I really recommend. It's great. For the team plan, you get unlimited transcripts as well, priority customer support, automatically sharing transcript with your team members, and unlimited AI credits, which I absolutely love. AI features are just 12 out of 10 to me. Now, how do I set this up? It's pretty simple. I'm just gonna log into my account and integrate this product with whichever of the cloud-based meeting tools I want. So if I go to my account and settings and then integrations, you'll see I have already connected to Google Meet, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and I could connect to WebEx if I want to. But it's pretty simple. All I'd have to do is go to a Google Meet and I'm gonna start an instant meeting. And this is how it works. Basically, it's gonna take my voice and transcribe everything that's going on. And you'll notice here inside of this, when I turn on closed captions, it's actually just recording all of the transcription that automatically occurs through whatever product it is in. So if you're using this tool, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you use the web version. So whether it be Google Meet or Zoom or Microsoft Teams, it's going to allow that Chrome extension to simply capture the captions that are added by the product. And then from there, integrate it into a tool that can be used for good. So the second I end this meeting, let's say I took some notes on the side saying this made a lot of sense when he talked about the captions portion of the product. And then say I was done with it and I want to just press pause because that's the only part that I need to record it. Or I wanted to take a screenshot of the current page and then I close it out. You'll see I'm immediately prompted to go here and I have screenshots, I have text, I have my written notes all here. That was an example of how to do it. I'm gonna go back to another meeting where I train somebody on some processes and I want to show you how this tool is really cool. So first and foremost, I have a meeting with myself and Muhammad and I want to know what was the topic of this training? I can ask it with AI or use any of these general quick prompts. Okay, the topic of the meeting was focusing on nagging people regarding content deliverables, timeline expectations, and effective communication strategies to ensure tasks are completed on time. Cool, awesome, that is accurate. And say I wanted a summary and action items using the AI quick capabilities here. You'll see in a moment, it says quick summary during the meeting, they discussed task management, how I scheduled another training on Monday with Muhammad and added the training materials to the bot for future reference. Now, all of this can be edited if anything is incorrect and bolded, different things like that strike through. And I could give it a feedback saying it was a good response, just so the product knows. I can delete it, I can copy it out, pretty much anything I'd want. But say for example, rather than doing all of that hugabaloo and typing it out, what if I simply wanted to know the summary and action items immediately? Okay, all I would have to do would be to set up a workflow and then press it. So you can see, follow up with action items after the meeting in Slack and I can confirm the output. And then from there, it's gonna take this and actually send it via Slack. So if I go to my workflows, you'll see I've set up an automation that shares this meeting information in my task to do services channel. Check it out. Shared it exactly in this Slack channel very quickly and easy. And if I wanted to make any changes to this, I absolutely could. It's a really easy builder. We have a lot of different tutorials on how to set up this builder. And you can use not only Slack as an integration, but other tools like Notion and Linear, which are built in with so many different AI prompts that can be customized to your liking. So if you're trying to use AI as a note taker, make sure to try out Tactic today. It's quick, simple, and easy to use, and we hope you'll love it just as much as we do. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.